you could probably tell by the state of this place that this week has been all about prep. Well, as I said in last Thursday night's vlog, this week again was all about prep. You could probably tell by all the reels that I've got here and the rods over there. I'm prepping for a big competition. It's one I can't really go into at the minute, but in next week's vlog, I'll just give you a quick summary of where I am and what I'm up to. But yes, this week, I didn't plan any matches. That was done weeks and weeks in advance. I left it free on purpose. But it's been a very busy week. I've been busy with work and just kind of catching up with work. So obviously I've got a few festivals where I'm away coming up later on in the year. And obviously I'm a, an employee like many of you and I need to do my hours, you know, in some shape or form. So that's really what I've been doing leading into next week's competition. I've been doing all sorts, cleaning a lot of my kit, just making sure I've got everything that I need for the for matches that are coming up later on in the year. I've been cleaning the reels and all that sort of sort of thing. I've got the 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 here, there's all sorts here. I've been doing some spools, spooling up, mainly with braid really, because we're using braid more and more on the venues that I fish. A lot of the spools, just making sure I've got enough spools for each kind of reel, and obviously when you're fishing different venues like I am and a lot of you guys are you need to have spools with mono on and some with braid as well so you find you're having to duplicate things a lot but that's what it's been all about obviously the inevitable hook lens that's an ongoing thing it always is but that's what last week was all about unfortunately I missed the Southfield three-day festival massive congratulations to Felix for winning that perfect three-point score won his section all three days absolutely fantastic Felix I've only met you two or three times but I know what a fantastic angler you are and obviously a lot of you may or may not know Southfield is Doncaster Felix lives in Germany so you can hardly call him a regular and I've got to say a big thank you that obviously a lot of you out there were like me poor saps that couldn't get to fish that competition thankfully due to Andy Renton and Mick Axon for uploading all the results and the daily catch shots and stuff. For us that haven't been able to be there, we've been able to just kind of follow the competition as well and just see all the weights and who drew where and all that sort of stuff. So that's kept us going. So once again, another big thumbs up to everyone at Southfield again, you know, to the lads organising the matches and the anglers themselves, just for keeping that that snowball growing and keep it going. You know, it's something fantastic that you've created there and it's, uh, it's the envy of, of many other fisheries. One thing I've managed to do around work and stuff this week is confirm that I will be at the Iberian Masters again next year. It's something that I don't think they've quite pinpointed the exact date of it, but the, the range of the dates it could be, I'm going to be available and I'm going to be fishing it. I've emailed them um, this morning just to let them know and register my interest and put my name down so I will be there and I know I'll be seeing some of you there. So that is going to take pride of place just there that's the Iberian Masters in Spain for anybody who's new to the channel that hasn't seen the video from this year's event which is an epic movie I'll put the link there for you hope you enjoy it I did manage to get out on the bank however on a session with Paul it was a session that was booked by his girlfriend months and months ago as a bit of a present and we finally decided on a venue and it's one that he knew well is a member of you know it's not a day ticket water it's a private water but the fishing certainly didn't disappoint. He wanted to fish somewhere where there was lots of bream and where you can be a bit, bit more attacking, a bit more aggressive as regards um, the actual feeding and that sort of thing. And I think we found it, you know, the venue in its absolute peak. It was absolutely fantastic. Here is a bit of footage from how the day went. Well, it's six o'clock in the morning. I'm on the M1 and I'm heading south. Paul's got down here early this morning. I've obviously come through from Sheffield, it's 100 miles from where I live. So I'm just gonna meet him at the gate, get set up, and hopefully we're gonna catch a few bream for you. weather has stayed perfect as you can see it's, it's overcast still mild falls into a fish as you can see he's only gone down one hole today it's um, two and a half seconds deep out there 
flipped up at 50 meters. There's no difference in depth between two, uh, 20 meters and going out to about 60. There's very little difference in depth. Bit of weed down there, but nothing that's affecting the fishing. We started off with fishing with maggot. Maggot on the hook. Four maggots on a 14. And we're into small fish straight away, little roach and, and skimmers and that sort of thing. But we we're confident from the stories that I've heard that there's a lot of big bream here. And obviously, Paul's been down here himself and caught lots. He fished over there on the wall once and uh, he's caught loads of bream. Yep, it's another proper bream. So he steps up the bait a little bit, bring more worm through. We stopped putting dead reds in, we're not putting casters in. Been a lot more selective. We've gone up to a size 12 hook as well. Two pieces of dendro on the hook. Another beautiful fish. Well done, mate. That's his fourth now. Um, he's had three and three casts when we changed. Double worm on the hook, like I say. Size 12 hook, just really nice and positive. He just weighed one seven pound, and that one's still got plenty of fight left in him. That's another one. another seven pounder, easy. That one looks a little bit thicker. The interesting thing is, he's had a couple of casts. Just to experiment, just slightly off the feed, and he came back with two roach. He's gone back, bang down the same hole where all the gear's going in. That's where the bream, I mean, look at that. What a stunning fish. Well, he's still piling the bait in. I bet we've gone through over half a kilo of worm already. It's not even lunchtime. He's been clicking what he's caught. Um, about 70 pounds, but that is quite conservative. Got another fish on now. Really homing in on it now, as soon as the feeder's going in. Never seen anything like it, it's amazing. Putting casters through as well with the worm. Taking the maggot out, he's not catching roach at all now. Quite a large feeder he's got on. But this one again just nailed it within seconds of the feeder going in. Shortened the up length. Brilliant. Shorten that up length up now to about 25 30 centimeters. It's really made a difference now. I've seen the bites a lot quicker. Well, we were just saying it seems as though he must be feeding it just about right. They're not drifting away at all at the minute. He's got a large feeder on. He's trying to feed just enough to keep them there, but he, feed enough so that you're not waiting ages and ages for bites and they seem to be I mean how long will that one running? A minute? <laughs> <laughs> He's having to wait a minute for a seven pound marine. No not much use for a stopwatch today but got a size 12 hook on now two pieces of worm. Beautiful well done mate. This is the tongue fish. He's at 95 pound on the clicker going into this one. That's the one. Well done mate, uh, on for a PB weight I think today, but that's done that easy haven't we? <laughs> or is it dinner time? <laughs> yeah, look at that, another strong healthy fish, look at that. Fantastic, it's amazing how they're responding to the feed, It's uh, but like I said the conditions are perfect. fish to finish on. Go on mate. We've clicked him at seven, we've been very conservative haven't we? Yeah. What sort of day has it been? Unbelievable. What a day for bream. <laughs> we've been fortunate enough to have the sunshine. It has put the, the, the fish down yeah. during those spells but when the sun hasn't been there it's been fantastic hasn't it? Unbelievable. Awesome job mate. Bit of pop, popping bite. Super day mate, absolutely brilliant. Well done Pat. Cheers mate, thanks ever so much. Double ton. Get in. There you go.
as you can see he caught some fantastic fish and the interesting thing was that this was one of the days where he did actually spot patterns you know thankfully Paul's casting was incredibly accurate and you know the vast majority of the times the, the feeder was going right down the same hole and when that was happening it was catching a bream but a couple of times the wind gusted and just got out of control a little bit and the interesting thing was that when that happened he had to wait a little bit longer for a bite and when he did get a bite he came back with a little roach or a little hybrid now that was really interesting in itself because I think what was happening was that big feeder that he was feeding with was going in he was putting plenty of chopworm and caster through and obviously when he hooked a fish or he reeled in that obviously deposited some bait on, on you know on the, on the deck and while he's playing that fish netting it and getting ready to cast back out again if he could get that feeder bang on the same spot again that's when he caught a bream and I think what must have been happening is the bream were obviously homing in on the feed itself and just kind of dominating that that feed area and you know the brilliant and interesting thing about that from my point of view and a lot of you guys are interested in this sort of thing as well is that how many times have we been on a on a venue where all the small fish have been in the feed area and you've had to kind of fish away from them to catch a bonus fish so it was nice to see that so clearly in black and white about how those roles were kind of reversed you know and it just shows that we're always always learning but Paul you did a fantastic job mate it was a pleasure to meet you brilliant net of fish mate really it was a fantastic day so thank you Q&A slots people have been asking me about them a lot and you know I still get questions sent in and stuff but I don't want to keep doing them all the time you know but what I'd like to do is if I can a lot of people are asking the same sort of questions and if there's a question that's a little bit off the cuff something that's slightly slightly different then I'd just like to highlight that to you know to the viewers because after all it's you guys that are asking these questions one I've been asked today is really about full-time anglers it's, it's one that I've discussed on so many times with other, other anglers of all abilities and in different countries as well you know and it's something that where they say that you know anglers that tend to go full-time and fish more they suddenly start getting results now one of the flip sides to that was some of the people have actually said that well yeah that's fair enough but because they're they're enabled to fish full-time and fish four times a week for example because they're going in more matches they're obviously going to be getting better and more experienced that is what I believe and I, I believe that's true and that is exactly what happens you know the more time they spend on the bank the better they are going to get at technique and, and knowledge and watercraft and all that sort of stuff but the other side is they're fishing more matches as well so if you can imagine the more matches that you fish the law of averages would say that you know you're more likely to draw more better pegs obviously these top anglers do draw bad pegs and it's very difficult to win from a bad peg you know if the fish aren't there you can't win but the more matches you fish the chances are you're going to draw more better pegs but the key is these top lads that a lot of these lads were talking about and naming they very rarely mess up a good peg and that's the difference we've said it before that's what makes these these good anglers great you know that that sets them apart because you know they go to a peg that might be full of fish that's the key issue they might be full of fish in that peg but it's still left to them to the angler to find a way of extracting them fish out of there and into the nets you know and that's what really sets them apart and they flagged this up to me because I mean look what's happened again this week perfect timing Jamie Hughes again he's qualified for his third major final this year he's fishing for a total of about £170,000 he's in another major final Andy Bennett went on again and won the uh, the, the Westwood um, Spring Festival the classic he won that again and he's qualified again for another major final you know and the great thing is these lads that when they qualify for these these events they're not doing them on the same venues you know there's lots of lads that specialize on venues and get to know them and that's brilliant I really it's highly commendable and I've done that if I've got a series of matches coming up on a venue I like to try and master it for a short while but for me personally I couldn't stick to the same venue all the time but these lads are, they're going around different venues and doing it on different venues and it gets back to application you know everybody puts their hand in a bag and if you fish enough matches you're going to get some chances it, you know it's the law of averages you're going to get some chances of winning a match and it's the way that they're going to the peg you know a lot of these fisheries have got fish repellent rules and other rules in you know which are enforced to kind of make it more of a level playing field so things like that are all taken out of the, the equation and again it's down to application and the great thing is you know that somebody was talking about today was they were saying that you know some of these full-time pro anglers a lot of people aren't really congratulating them anymore because a lot of them they they've won so much in their in their career that they kind of expected to win or they're expected to do well now the funny thing is a lot of these top lads are kind of because they're backed by companies 
that doesn't mean you know if they're a full-time angler it doesn't mean they fish full-time you know there is a difference you know some of those lads that are on, on some of the best deals they're only fishing matches probably once or twice a week some of them are doing two or three a month and that is it and the ironic thing is a lot of these lads that have been saying about these superstars how they should be winning everything some of these lads are self-employed or they're working shifts and I see them, I see them on Facebook, I see the results because you see everything and they're fishing three matches a week and the pleasure day as well so a lot of those lads are actually fishing more than these pro anglers you know so when you talk about time on the bank making you a better angler some of them have got no excuse have they? <laughs> well for me this week on a very personal level I've you know been incredibly um, fortunate to have been presented with an opportunity to join Willy Worms it's a fantastic um, online bait company that you know supplies quality bait online you know so you can have it delivered to your home or delivered to work or whichever address you you prefer and as you know I'm like most of you where I'm an average Joe where I work all week and it can be really really difficult to get into a tackle shop just to get your bait for the weekend this is going to allow me to just kind of get the quality bait that I need and not have to worry about collecting it or just getting to a shop in time. I can just order it online or over the phone and that will just be delivered to my home or to work or wherever I'm going to be when that delivery is, is scheduled. It's a brilliant opportunity to just be part of the team and I'm not going to say too much about it right now other than you will be seeing me use the baits over the coming months now. Uh, you'll get to see the quality and, and, and the service that they provide and you know a massive thank you to them and Rich Carriage for putting this in place and making it happen. You know and obviously the support is going to allow me to kind of fish more events all over Europe hopefully. Um, where I don't have to kind of worry about you know my bait supply and, and, and that sort of thing as you can appreciate I'm a feeder angler most of the fishing that I do seems to be bream fishing and that sort of thing the amount of worms we use and that sort of thing all this support package is really going to help me out and a massive thank you to Willy Worms and if anyone wants to check that out right now the link is below for you just have a look at the website you know they've got some great services on offer there so but you'll be hearing more about that in the coming months well that's about it, it's just been a really ca quick catch up again this week, I know a lot of you like these Thursday night vlogs, to anybody that's new to the channel or new to this style of video, this is every Thursday night at half past six, it's just a touch base, let you know what I've been up to over the weekend, let you know what's um, been happening through this week and what kind of thing I'm up to at the weekend and it's just kind of breaking the week up and getting you a bit of a taster for the weekend, I'm sure you're all counting down like me, it's been a four day week for most of us this week and I don't know why they seem to come come round a lot longer than a five day week but here we are it's Friday tomorrow so thanks for watching really appreciate it I'll try and clear the tackle room up a little bit for you for next week but next week I will explain a little bit to you about where I am going to be next week what the competition is and that sort of thing so thanks for watching really appreciate it if you've enjoyed this video or any of the others please click like or share and if you want to see more videos like this there's loads coming from the bank from the events that I'm fishing a lot of the tackle talk kind of things and a lot of the topics on new products and when I'm just out on the bank with other people just it's so varied it's like a magazine now if you do want to be kept in the loop with all that and see all these future videos so you don't miss any there are hundreds coming trust me just click subscribe thanks for watching have a fantastic weekend and i'll see you next week